the Pakistan Air Force stands at a crossroads, a decision that could define the future of its aerial dominance for decades. Should Pakistan fully commit to developing its indigenous PFX fighter jet, or should it acquire more J-10C Dragon jets from China to counter India's growing air power? This decision isn't just about firepower, it's about strategy, economy and survival in an increasingly volatile region. Section 1. The J-10. Immediate strength but heavy cost. The J-10C is undeniably a formidable machine. Equipped with Active Electronically Scanned Array, AESA Radar, WS-10B or AL-31FN engines and the ability to carry the deadly PL-15 long-range missile, it has already given Pakistan an edge against India's Rafales. The PAF inducted its first batch of J-10Cs in 2022 and the results have been promising, but here's the catch. Each J-10C costs around 50 to 60 million dollars. If Pakistan wants a larger fleet, it could mean billions in foreign expenditure, adding immense strain to an already struggling economy. Can Pakistan afford this? Or should it look for an alternative? Section 2, the PFX project, a risky but game-changing future. Enter Pakistan's own PFX project, a bold plan to develop a next-generation fighter jet. PFX aims to be a twin-engine, stealth-capable jet with diverterless supersonic inlet DSI technology, internal weapons bay IWB, and radar-absorbent material RAM coating, features that could rival modern fifth-gen fighters. But here's the dilemma. Developing a state-of-the-art fighter jet takes time and money. The JF-17 took two decades to mature. Can Pakistan afford to wait? Or should it prioritize immediate defense needs by getting more J-10Cs? Section 3. The economic struggle, a realistic look. Pakistan's economic condition is no secret, with debt, inflation and currency depreciation. Allocating billions for new jets, whether PFX or J-10C, is a massive challenge. Relying too much on China for fighter jets could increase dependency, limiting Pakistan's long-term defense autonomy. On the other hand, developing PFX indigenously would mean self-reliance, local industry growth, and long-term economic benefits. But can Pakistan sustain such a project in the short term? Conclusion, the ideal path forward. So what's the solution? Should Pakistan bet on its future with the PFX project or should it immediately boost its firepower with more J-10Cs? The answer lies in balance. Pakistan must continue the PFX program at full pace. This is its ticket to technological independence, but at the same time, it cannot afford a capability gap. A limited purchase of additional J-10Cs for the next five, seven years can ensure security while the PFX reaches operational maturity. This isn't just a choice, it's Pakistan's future in the air. What do you think? Should Pakistan double down on PFX or secure its defenses with J-10Cs? Let's discuss in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe Uncover History.